The Sneasels, written by Jeremy Strong, illustrated by Tony Blundell. One. Achoo! Large, pale green clouds floated over the city. Nobody had ever seen anything like them. Those clouds have come from Mars, said the royal astronomer. Those clouds have been made by our enemies and sent to invade us, said the general in charge of the army. Those clouds are full of green paint, and when it pours, it will turn all my nice white washing green, said the royal washman. In other words, nobody knew what the clouds were. They soon found out because the clouds began to snow big, puffy, green balls. Everyone stared at the sky and watched as the pale green puff balls floated down faster and faster. As they landed, they exploded with a little piff. Out came a fine green powdery dust that drifted away. Piff, 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 piff. A bird sneezed. Gotcha! It was a huge sneeze. It was so powerful that the bird shot backwards straight into a hole in a tree where it stuck. Everywhere, birds began to sneeze. If they were flying, they went rocketing backwards at high speed. Whoosh! If they were sitting on a branch, they spun round and round until at last they fell off. Clump! A dog sneezed so hard, it ended up in a tree. A cow sneezed, and every bit of milk came shooting out of its udders, like water from a water pistol. A horse sneezed and performed a high-speed cartwheel backwards. Then the people started to sneeze. Achoo! One man sneezed his boots off. Achoo! Another came shooting out of his pyjama trousers and he had to run home very quickly before anyone could see. Achoo! A woman shot into the air like a rocket with a dress on. Soon, everyone was taking off into the air. Every time they sneezed, they went shooting up all over the city, as if they were on giant, invisible pogo sticks. A chewy! A chewy! A chewy! A chewy! We have all caught Martian jumping fever, said the astronomer. We must leap into the lake and hide at the bottom. Then we'll be all right. But we shall drown, the general pointed out. What we need to do is attack the enemy. No, no insisted the royal washman. 
We must make sure we are all wearing clean underwear. That will sort everything out. In other words, nobody knew what to do. Two. Sneasels. There were two small children, a brother and sister, called Hal and Bella, who knew at once what the green puffy balls were. Sneasels, said Hal. They're Sneasels. He's right, said Bella. Piff! Things were getting worse by the hour. The Sneasels were becoming more and more powerful. Achoo! It was chaos. Achoo! Bong! Achoo! Bong! Achoo! Bong! People began weighing themselves down with anything heavy. They tied themselves to wardrobes with rope. Goo-choo! They lashed themselves to grandfather clocks with string. Plang! Bong! Achoo! They glued themselves to garden sheds. Achoo! If they didn't, they would find themselves stuck on the top of a tall building or lodged up a tree. Achoo! Achoo! The king declared a national emergency. He and his ministers started wearing gigantic iron boots. Achoo! Sniff! Sniff! What's more, all the king's horses and all the king's men had to wear giant iron boots too. They couldn't go anywhere because the boots were too heavy. But at least when they sneezed, they only moved a little bit. There must be a cure for these sneezels, declared the king. We must build a rocket, fly to Mars, and drink a glass of water upside down, said the royal astronomer. That's the cure for hiccups, said the general. What we must do is take prisoners. But you can't capture sneezels, the royal washman pointed out. What you must do is boil everyone in a wash tub and hang them on the line to dry. In other words, nobody knew what the cure was. Three. Problem solved. Nobody, that is. Except Hal. He had noticed something very interesting. When those puffballs come down, some of them land on that bonfire. They don't go piff, they go sizzle, splob. And that's the end of them. I think we must use fire to burn away all the puffballs. The royal astronomer said, Ridiculous child! How can we get up to those clouds? The general said, Stupid boy! You can't burn clouds! The royal washman didn't say anything. He had just sneezed so hard he'd fallen into the wash tub, and it was on the rubber dub cycle. Well, tissue! <laughs> 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 
Then, clever Bella spoke up. We must get a big hook. We tie it to a long rope. We put the hook in a cannon and fire it into the air. Boom! It hooks onto a cloud. We pull the cloud down and put it on the bonfire. She's right, said Hal, and everyone stared at the children. Hard. Piff! The royal astronomer was going to say something unkind, but he sneezed, and although he was wearing giant iron boots, he hadn't done up the laces properly. He went whizzing up in the air and didn't stop until he landed on Mars. Achoo! Oh dear, murmured the king. We'd better do as Bella says. So they did. And it worked. One by one, they pulled the clouds out of the sky and burned them up. And that was the end of the Sneasels. Splob! Sizzle! Then they set about rescuing all their friends and neighbours who had ended up in trees or on roofs or steeples. Except, of course, there were some people that they didn't bother with because they didn't like them very much. Help! Squawk! Hey, don't leave me here! Mm. <laughs> Hal and Bella became heroes and a statue was made of them. So, if you ever find yourself in a city with a statue to a clever young brother and sister, you'll know you're in the city that once got the Sneasels. If you look up, you can still see some of the people who weren't rescued. Most of them have got really long beards now, because it all happened a very, very long time ago.